What's up, it's Destiny back again with another video and today we are doing a Chick-fil-A mukbang. Right? I got my boys here. One does not want to be on camera, that's fine. One who loves the camera. You know how that go. All right, so. That's me. That is you. Well, subscribe. Show them what you got. What you got to eat. Um, fries and chicken nuggets. And you already drank your little apple juice. All right, and we all got chicken nuggets. He has chicken nuggets and fries. I have chicken nuggets and fries. He has Let lemonade. Show, show the people, yeah. That's good. This and this. Yep. Then why do you say it? I have a 12 count, baby, because hungry. Oh. <coughs> Medium oh. fried. Hold up. Mm, and a fruit punch to drink, and I will be using Chick-fil-A sauce. He's using Chick-fil-A sauce. He don't like to use any sauce. So yes. I figured why not just do a little Chick-fil-A mukbang? Why not just, you know, have a little a little chat, a little talk? Well, I want pizza. You the people don't need to see what's in your mouth though. Don't show them inside of your food. Sorry in advance. So school's about to start soon. Is that too much information? Do they need to know that? Everybody knows that school's about to start for everybody. I'm not gonna tell y'all when. I'm not gonna tell you where school is starting, what type of school, any of those things. I know, hey guys, I like pizza. Well, that's my favorite food, is pizza. His favorite food is pizza. Yes, we know. But, um, somebody's starting high school soon. How do you feel about it? He feels good if you didn't hear it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little emotional for me because this is my firstborn baby. What do you mean high school? And don't be like, ooh, Destiny, that means you're getting old. I'm not. I'm not getting old. They are getting old. They're aging. They're, you know what I'm saying? I'm just maintaining. I'm literally maintaining, so. Okay, well, I'm not going to go for it because I the You can't talk with food in your mouth. Talking about he don't want to go to sleep because he likes to stay up. We know. We know. Okay. We got dogs under the table being greedy on duty. Now let me show y'all my concealed care outfit for today. It's raining and I get chilly quick. So you see it's a tank top. I have my shorts. So I just always have a um I always have a sweater in the car or nearby. In case I get cold. So I'm wearing shorts. They're like the paper bag shorts. You can't really see because of the thing. Not super long, not super short. But of course, I'm carrying and I am using finger off the trigger. I'm using my Filster Enigma to carry in these shorts. It makes it just so super easy. You can't see nothing. Well, you and if anyone's like, oh, I can see, y'all only see because I pointed out. Something about. I know I like junk food. Oh my God, don't tell the people that. They like junk food, y'all know I don't. It is, even though we eat Chick-fil-A right now, it's Friday, it's the weekend. You can indulge. Whoa. Have a little something, something. I'ma drink my herbal tea before the night That's is over. What's about this? Hmm? about our people. Do y'all dip y'all fries in the sauce? I do. I but before you go, because you finished eating? Mm -hmm. Dang. I, I did not. Greedy? You're also playing football. Y'all, he's playing football. I'm going to be honest. What I was totally against football. Let me talk. He's playing a gay game. A, a dangerous game? Yeah, it's gay. Scary? Yeah. You can't talk what food in your mouth. I'm not gonna lie, I was totally against football. I think that is very savage to be running around, knocking people down. Ugh, it's just dangerous. I know people who have had injuries from playing football. My brother um, had an injury that took him out for the season. Cousin, same thing, but that's their life. This is his life. This is something that he wants to do, something he wants to pursue. So my job as a parent, I come to this conclusion, I'm here to guide my children. Yes, I'm here to raise them, nurture them, 
but ultimately this is their life they want to try certain things as long as it's not detrimental no, let me finish as long as it's not detrimental to their health their well-being spiritually mentally physically I'm going to support it as long as it's not illegal. We have these conversations all the time. I got your back and I'm going to do whatever I can for you as long as you ain't doing X, Y, and Z because I ain't rocking with X, Y, and Z. But this is something that he wants to pursue. Although it's a little scary for me, this is his life. And I have to guide him along his life and the choices that he wants to make. And we build our children's confidence when we support what they're deciding and wanting to do. So that's what I'm doing. He wants to play football. I'm all for it. I just told him, be prepared for me to be the loudest one on the field. Be prepared for the shirts. You know what I'm saying? Me to have a little shirt, so-and-so's mom, number such and such. You feel me? Be prepared when we go out about, oh yeah, my son's on the football team. Mm -hmm. My son plays for so-and-so. You feel me? But... You're excited about it? Mm -hmm. Give me more than mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Y'all hear this deep voice? Yes, I want a top boy. Handle it. Hey guys, I want a top boy right now because I can play so many games. As long as you don't break it like you did the other one. So, try to think because I know you're done eating. What are the football stuff? So you're making football friends. Yeah. You're ready for school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went through his um, you know, his class schedule. He wanted to change his schedule, y'all, because they gave him some things that he didn't want to take right now. And then they left off a class that he needed to take. So he took it upon himself, Mom. I want to change my schedule. Okay, what you want to change it? I want to take this, and I want this, and I want to take this at this time of day. Do your thing. That's what you want to do. Who am I? I'm not stopping. This is your schedule. This is your. This is gonna be your day at school. Make it how you want it to be. These kids are growing up. It's just. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. But it's a part of life. So. Well. So you're happy with guys, your class schedule? Well, guys, it's mommy birthday. It was my birthday. Yes. I'm gonna talk to him about my birthday another time. So you're happy with your schedule? You feel comfortable? We went through, because we had orientation, so we went through to, this is where your locker is, this is first period, second period. We went through his whole route, like how it would be for um, the regular day, so you feel good about that? Yeah. You know you got six minutes between each class. They got an hour lunch. The whole school be on lunch at the same time. Which is cool, because I went to a school for like a couple of months and they were like that. The whole school was on lunch for an hour. It was really good. It really gave you time to unwind from your school schedule, meet with your friends, eat, the line be long. That's why I told him, I said, you could pack lunch, but he don't wanna pack lunch. It's not lame to pack lunch. I packed lunch in high school and I wasn't lame. So, but, I guess we'll go through the couple weeks and see how he feels and what he thinks or whatever. Anything you want to tell the people? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Look exactly. Look at close to my channel. Your mouth is full of and food. Your he said like and subscribe to my channel, his channel, and his channel. I I second that. Yeah, subscribe to our channel. Well, the, the pups don't have channels. Cause what would their channel be? Just them eating food. They greedy. Well, that's trying to get on the couch, trying to get on the bed, eating the eating the food. If we leave some on the table or the counter, it's too much. So good. But y'all know I have a Labradoodle. So she's tall. But she knows she's not supposed to be in the kitchen. She only do that when I'm gone. If I leave something like a watermelon on the counter that's already cut open, she's gonna eat it. B A D. Right, dang. So, 
I guess I could talk about my birthday real quick. Um, what do we do? We went to the beach. We had a beach day. Um, we had the beach for a long time. It was me, my kids, and my mom. We had a beach day. It was a beautiful day for the beach. Absolutely glorious. Um, uh, I was trying to get my fries. With a white fries. I see. But we had a glorious beach day. We had sandwiches, drinks, you know, the whole little thing. Our little tent was blowing away. What so I had to put stuff in it to make it, you know, anchor yeah. down. Because I don't know where the stakes are what for it. My yeah, you ate it all. I don't know where the stakes are for our tent. So I had to, like, position Share, things strategically. Let me finish talking to the beach. This is why I can't be doing no videos. Can you share your food? Eat your food. Um, so we had a really good time at the beach. It was fun. And then afterwards, dinner. And then after that, I went out with my friends. And I was so thankful that they came out to celebrate with me. Really appreciate them. So shout out to Cece, Dante, Brian, Dawn, Maya, Sam, King, Shout out to Eric. Shout out to my people. I appreciate them. It was a very fun birthday for me. And mommy. And Shut we're still celebrating because Leo season is still here. Well, go out to my friends. Go out to JJ and all of my friends. Okay, subscribe to all your friends. And, um... My mom and the kids bought me an iRobot uh, vacuum thing, which was needed. I wanted one, so it was good. They decorated the house. We still got some of the balloons up and some of the decorations, and they got me a cake. Um, sung happy birthday, did all that type of stuff. So it was a good birthday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so young, it's just like, ugh, child. I'm in mean, mid. Benjamin Button around this morning. How many <laughs> May could be my birthday? Your birthday's in September. You got some time, baby. About two months. Why are you still your birthday? It's not, well, it's still my birthday because I'm choosing to still celebrate my birthday. How many minutes left on this DS card? We in a phone call. Oh. It's my sister. Oh, good. I'm gonna have to. Who is that? Tom Paz. grandma? You can't hear this conversation. The grandma? This picture is actually scary. Not gay. It's ugly! <laughs> it's ugly! Turn that off! Okay, I'm gonna take it off. Hold up. Oh, oh boy. I do This picture is ugly. You can't even see nothing. You can't even see nothing. I can see. This is a good picture. It's ugly. Devin. Devin, now you're just being mean. Now you're being mean. That's not ugly. That's an auntie. That's pretty. It's too ugly. But this? Yeah. Whoa. It's ugly. What? Yeah. What is this so much ugly? Ugly picture. Okay. <laughs> why is that? Why are you showing me some ugly pictures? This is too much. Why are you funny? Why are you funny? You're out of control. Out of control. Out of control. Uh, Daniel, feed the pups. Well, I still And yeah, we back. I had to finish up the phone call with my sister. Everybody has finished eating except for me. I have two little nuggets left. Um, he's doing this. So I don't even I don't even know how many minutes I've got of this mukbang. Can you please let me finish talking to the people? He wasn't doing this until my sister called me and we were on the phone laughing and she was sending those pictures and stuff and now he just in full blown me 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 mode. So I'm gonna have to wrap this up pretty quickly. Finish my little drink. I have fruit punch. 
Um, I don't even remember what I was last. It's no more. I don't even remember what I was last talking about. I honestly don't even remember. I did, but I did still taste it. You can still taste it, okay. But I'm finna go. I have an idea for a reel. So I'm gonna go record that and I might do like the behind the scenes with y'all and um, let y'all see that process. Um, yeah, I don't really know how mukbangs go. I just know people be eating and we were eating and having a conversation. Then I got a phone call and I had to take that phone call. And here we are. You need ice? That means you need some iron, some divine iron. I'm gonna make him some tea. He don't really drink the tea. I put it in his bath water. It works the same. So when he had a fever that one time, I put the tea in his bath water. Fever went away. He was good the next day. So that's a trick. If your kids don't drink tea, because I don't put sugar, sweetener, nothing. It's straight herbs, straight alkaline herbs with nothing mixed. So he don't like the taste. Put it in the bath water. Soak his feet in it. Put a washcloth, dab it on him. Cause whatever you put, now we doing the health lesson real quick. Anything that goes on your skin goes straight into the bloodstream. That's why y'all need to stop using deodorant. Destiny, we can't stop using deodorant. Yes, you can. I haven't bought deodorant for myself, nor have I used deodorant in at least, at the least two years. I use key limes. I will cut a key lime in half, rub it under my arms, and I don't even have to do that every day. I only do that when I'm about to like be out and about, and that's a just in case. But I can go days without putting on. I haven't put on on, well I took a bath, but I haven't put none I mean, on in the past iron. like three days. I mean iron. And no one can say, oh, you must Mommy, eat. Mommy, I mean iron. You do. Then I'm gonna make that tea. Mm -hmm. Um, Because although I'm eating Chick-fil-A, I'm not totally vegan, obviously, but I don't do dairy. I don't do red meat. Um, What else I don't do? I've, I've really cut back sugar. Although I had that fruit punch, that's the only time I would have had something sweet. I didn't even have a piece of my birthday cake because I just don't want sugar at all because I know that sugar really is an addiction. Um, so I just don't do sugar. So I cut out sugar, I cut out red meat, beef, all that type of stuff, and dairy. And I fast the whole day. I think I talked about this with y'all before. I eat fruits and like salad during the day and then around 5.30, well now it's 6.30. Um, I eat dinner and I eat my cooked meal and that allows me even that bit of de detoxing Allows for me to not have to wear deodorant so cuz I tell people this no like child can't I'll be musty da, da, da. Change your eating habits and you won't Change little things like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm eating chicken right now, but The other changes that I've made in my life have helped so drastically. I don't need deodorant use key limes and that's only when I'm about to be out for the whole day and I live in a very hot state and I might be sweating type stuff other than that I'm not wearing nothing <laughs> we gonna we gonna have a little a health chat one day and I'm gonna talk to y'all about the things that I do because everybody loves a natural girl to till she till they found out how natural she is I don't know if y'all ready for that okay I don't know if y'all ready for that but we'll have a chat one day about that. But yeah, I'm gonna just eat my two little nuggets and um, post this video and we gonna go. I hope y'all checked out my last video about putting the guns down. You know, clearly I'm not putting my guns down, but you know, to each their own. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I thank you for watching. And if you love someone, tell them I love you all. Stay dangerous.